назад. Бомбара.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? <laughs> Go ahead, believe what you want. Makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes round telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year, and don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I'd say that was acceptable. <laughs> now that's more like it! Brilliant. <laughs> now that's more like it. Made it. Oh, oh! Getting the hang of this. <laughs> this is rather fun. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, 
you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeps know. I'd say that was acceptable. Ho, ho! Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Now that's more like it! I'm getting the hang of this. Close, but not close enough. Brilliant. That wasn't planned. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Oh, did you Bombarda. from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. 
With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Glad you came. I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest... I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Hmm, seems a pleasant. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aidan used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. 
Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Sorona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabel was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. I should dismount here. It's like a place right out of a storm. Bardolf Beaumont, should... Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire. I can. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. He's likely studied here. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down.
Bombarder. Defender. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Bombarda! Confringo! Bombarda! Defendo! Confringo! Incendio! Accio! Depulsor! Defender! Bombarder! Accio! Incendio! Depulsor! Defender! Accio! Thought we'd forget! Incendio! Defend us. Slipper. Akio. Incendio. Depulsor. Defend us. Accio! Incendio! The beast... This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm... Better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. Incendio! That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio! Revelio. Either 
I'll have to fight that troll. Or avoid it altogether. Akio! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Bombarda! Levioso! Confringo! Rebellio. Revelio. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back.
Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Alohomora. Revelio. Huh. 
Alohomora. Revelio. I now do. Hello, Homora. Revelio. Revelio. I remember you. Your generosity helped me afford this rather exotic place. Yeah. Really Salazar, isn't it? Hello, Hamora. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. made a unicorn uh, skin. Uh, that fetches a few galleons. Bombarda. Uh, Levioso. Uh, Defender. Uh, Cumbringo. Uh, Glacier. Uh, uh, Incendio. Reductor. Uh, oh, what's the light uh, in your eyes? Uh, Rookwoods don't go down easy. Uh, Bringo!
Incendio! Bombarda! Nice to see you, my young friend. Turn my back for one second and what happened? Alohomora. Revelio. Bombarda! Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Oh, 
I wish I paid more attention. Revelio. <laughs> Wonder who lives here. Whoa. Bombarda. Levioso. Defender. Confringo. Incendio! Confringo! Bombarda! Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poacher spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. <gasps> A centaur. Tread carefully. 
an entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armour. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. They come after me, they'll rest in ten. Plans must be carefully and strategically laid out. Haste is a false chariot. I shall not allow the very life of me to be held ransom at the mercy of recklessness. Trificus Totalus. Ah. Ah. Iondale's not half as tough as it sounds. <laughs> You can't keep your eyes off a pretty lass, you can't. Huh. I'll check your pockets up here. Bring us! Cruise back for more. Right, child. Let me out, son. Is this what I do? Akio. Let me out. The ball, son. Merlin, you'd think they were. Prepare for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Revelio.
What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? It's a dragon fighting room. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. No, you're there. Don't know what for doing this, don't tell us. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get us. Totalis. Revelio. Revelio. There's trouble at fault. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy. Something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? Dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Hello, Hamora. All right, I have the egg. Revelio. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Careful! Ramrod will want his dragon in town. Traffickers, take the fight. Yeah, I think you'll get out of here. A lucky shot. Akia. Right for more. Let me out, See how you like this. Let me out, Now I'm supposed to.
to be impressed. Shall we finish what we, we got started? Him, you. Don't think you'll get out of here. Vegetation does not belong in battle. Expelliarmus. Ah, the lamb returns to the wolf. Back in the ground with you. Curse it. We're looking for and you brought our friend. I heard something. You! What do you think? I'm sorry. 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 I'm You in a stew! Depot! I've never been one for gardening! I'll have taken your life before you even cross it. Hebridean Black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Should we expect trouble from the poachers? 
given the trouble we just caused. It would be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Yeah. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Hogsmeade, here I come. You're back! Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Huh. 
Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Revelio. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? It 
may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Yeah. <laughs> 